Hi everyone, I'm Jyotika Singh and I've been in the field of AI for over a decade now. I've spoken to many individuals and a lot of them tell me that they are not sure how and if they can use latest AI technologies to their benefit. A lot of people even tell me that they're scared that AI might take over the world. Well, don't be scared. I'm about to tell you how you can use AI for free for everyday tasks as a helper. Let's go. All right. Have you ever been in a situation that you're helping your kids study a particular subject about a particular topic and then, you know, you ask them to study and you want to help them with their understanding and knowledge and you create quizzes for them to actually test whether what they've learned is complete or accurate. And that's a, such an important and a common use case. So what if AI could really help you with that? Well, let's check it out. Now I chose this one particular page. It has all these facts about the planet Earth. And let's assume this is the topic that your kids are right now learning about and this is what you wanna test them on. So what you do next is go to chat.openai.com. This is how you can access ChatGPT, the free version 3.5. And here, it is really all about how you're instructing this AI tool to give you a response or help you out. So here I want to create a quiz using the content I will paste below that I just copied. I want ChatGPT to create a quiz for me that contains 10 multiple choice questions, four options to select from, and for each I want it to tell me what the right answer is so that I know that for reference, right? Oh, and I paste the content. Let's see what it's going to generate. And here we go. The questions are flowing in. What is the diameter of the Earth? You have four options. You have the right answer below. Let's actually verify whether that is the correct answer in the text that we just pasted. And going back, we see, yes, there it is. It indeed is the correct answer. That's great. How far is the Earth from the Sun? We have an answer for that. How long does it take for the Earth to orbit the Sun? And look at the options. They're also close. It's like a real quiz as a human generated it, isn't it? Look at all those, the names of the, the gases in the atmosphere. And we have five, six, and all the way to 10 questions. And all of them have the right answer below. Isn't that pretty cool how it did that in a minute? Has it ever happened with you that there is a video or a podcast, interview, something that you wanted to listen to, but it was really long and you didn't have the time? So this is something definitely ChatGPT can help with. This is all about cooking. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to tell me what did they cook based on this long transcript. Let's see what we get. Okay, so they were doing fried chicken wings and discussing various other topics. That's good to know. And now what you can do is ask follow-up questions and it will have the context of the transcript right there. So let's say now I wanna know what kind of spices they used in the chicken wings recipe. And here it is, chat GPT analyzes the text, gives me an answer. Okay, now I'm actually curious about the recipe of the chicken wings itself. So let's try asking that. And here we go. Uh, full recipe right in front of us. Well, really good. Pretty neat, right? How I did that uh, to a 40 minute video and I didn't have to watch the whole thing. Here's the gist. So here, let's look at an example where I'm writing an email to my manager regarding an issue and I want it to be rephrased and, you know, used uh, and specifically, you know, use a professional language because let's say in this example, I'm kind of frustrated about the issue going on and I don't want it to reflect in the text that I sent to my manager. So here it is, I have somebody called Tim who has changed the scope of the task that's due very soon and it's really last minute. I cannot do it by the end of this month. And I have language there like Tim should change or readjust the scope. It's not exactly very professional language and I think I can do much better. Well, maybe I can't do much better, but ChatGPT can help me do much better. So let's look at what it did for me when I asked it to rephrase that and use a professional language. Look at that. I kindly request your assistant in addressing this matter. It seems necessary for Tim to reconsider or readjust the scope to ensure a more manageable time frame for completion. Look at that. Well, looks neat. Definitely not speaking angry or annoyed. 
Uh, and that's exactly the tone that I was looking for. Even basic things like correcting grammar of a sentence. And all I have to do is just tell very clearly and help the model understand what is it that I'm looking for. And the answer is not always you know, directly helpful and I have to try it a few times just to make sure I'm getting what I really want. But here's another example. So if I say correct the grammar of the following, I went to the wildflower spelling mistake and you know, I'm not really using proper syntax structure here uh, and it's just pretty ad hoc. And then I ask ChatGPT to rephrase that for me to correct the grammar. And there you go, grammar corrected sentence. Well, how often does it happen that it's a birthday or an anniversary and you just don't know what to gift your loved one? Well, use AI, ask for ideas, help it jog your own imagination. Well, look at that, some pretty interesting ideas, personalized jewelry, cooking class, weekend getaway. Well, I think I should actually send this to my husband and maybe it'll give him some good ideas on what to do on our anniversary. Hmm. You will notice at the bottom when using ChatGPT that it has a little disclaimer about its terms and privacy policies. Be sure to understand them and understand how your data is going to be used. Lastly, just like humans, machines make mistakes all the time as well. Everything you get out of ChatGPT may not be 100% accurate, so when you're using it for informational purposes, be sure to verify the results and do your own due diligence. Thank you everyone for watching and happy learning.